Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Very good. I'm glad to I'm glad to hear that. Uh, yes. How how is everybody today? Is everybody okay? Yes. Hello, Rafael. How are you? Everything good, teacher. Good. And you? Everything is good. Yes. Right. Great. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Hello, Mayra. Hello. How are you? I am fine. Thanks. Good, good. I'm glad to hear that. Excellent. Okay. Hello, um, Herson. Hello, teacher. How are you? Bye, teacher. Um, Thanks, and you? I'm good. I'm very good. Yes. Okay, I'm, I'm happy to see everybody here. And uh, let's see. Miguel. Hello, Miguel. Hello, teacher. Hello. How are you? Great, teacher. I'm great. Great, I'm glad to hear that. Okay, excellent. And um, Cristina? Is Cristina here? Can you hear me? Maybe she can't. Okay, all right. Hello, Suleima. Suleima Rodriguez, how are you? Hello, teacher. I am fine. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Excellent. Okay. Well, um, today um, we are going to um, continue where we left off yesterday. Um, and we're going to take attendance. Um, first hour of the class, we're going to take attendance. So, por cierto, muchas gracias por conectarse temprano cuando a la hora que debe ser, ¿verdad? para que podamos estar listos um, para la asistencia y para todo lo demás de la clase. Um, Quiero saber si todos revisaron que tuvieran acceso a la plataforma. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ok, muy bien. Muy bien. Uh, no problem. No problem. Excellent. Así me gusta. Así debe ser. No problem. Ok, very good. Um, Ok, quiero ver. Perdón que mi compu está un tantito lenta ahorita. No me quiere abrir. Ok, Bye. vamos a tomar asistencia. Ok. Eh, Alejandra Vanessa. Present. Ok, very good. Very, very good. Um, eh, quiero ver. Cristina. Cristina. No, no está. Ana Cristina, no. Ok. Um, ma, uh, no, um, Ana. ¿Ani? ¿No? ¿Ana del Carmen? ¿No? Ok. Eh, ¿Mari? ¿Mari? Ok. Um, Carolina, 
Caroline? Present teacher. Okay, very good. Very good. Um, Cristina. Present. Okay, very good. Excellent. Gerson. Present. Okay, very good, Gerson. Uh, Karina. Present. Okay, good. Um, and Linda. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Uh, Julia. Julia. No, okay. Uh, Nicole. Nicole? Present. Okay, very good. Maida? Present. Okay, very good. Miguel? Present teacher. Okay, very good. Present. Excellent. Um, Nelson. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Um, Norma? Present teacher. Okay, very good. Olga? Olga? No, no Olga. Okay, uh, Rafa. Present teacher. All right, welcome. Um, Seneida America Dominguez? Seneida. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Uh, what do you prefer to be called? What do you like to be called? Excuse me? What do you like to be called? Your name? Uh, what does mean be called? ¿Cómo le gusta que le llamen? Ah, okay. Uh, Senaida. Senaida. Thank you. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you, Senaida. Okay. Um, Suleima? Okay. Well, oh, pardon. Sorry. Is Melgar or? Uh, or... No, Rodriguez. Uh, sorry. Sorry. It's okay. Rodriguez? No. Suleima Rodriguez? Present teacher. Ah, okay, there she is. Okay. Um, Stephanie, uh, Stephanie Argelia. Stephanie Argelia? No? Okay. Um, Nancy Yvette Tovar? Nancy? Nancy, Nancy? No. Okay, uh, Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos. No, Karen. 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 No. Eh, Suleima Melgar. Present teacher. Okay, hoy sí, eh. Okay, very good. Teacher Glimini. Good Sorry. evening. Okay. Ani, <laughs> present. Ya, ya, voy a, ya voy a llegar ahí, no se preocupe. Um, Carla, Vanessa. Carla? Present teacher. Okay, very good, Carla. And Wilber Alexis Torres Dominguez. Wilber Alexis Torres Dominguez. ¿No está? Okay. Bye. Voy a repetir los nombres de los que no escuché que me dijeran present. Uh, I have Cristina. Ana Cristina. Present teacher. Okay. Very good. Uh, Ana del Carmen. Present teacher. 
Okay. Uh, Mari, Mari? Mari, ¿qué teacher present? Ana Mari. Ay, Julia. Me, dijo, me dijo ayer que quería que le llamara Mari. Mm. Ana Marisol. No, pues no. Ana, Ana Marisol, ¿no? Ok. Um, Julia? Present. Ok. Very good. Eh, Olga? Olga Marlene Gómez? No. Eh, Stephanie Argelia? Stephanie Argelia? No. Eh, Nancy? Present teacher. Oh, ok. Wonderful. Ok, very good. Uh, Juan Carlos? Karen Yesenia? And Wilber Alexis Torres Domínguez. Ok. Uh, solo tengo una pregunta. Mayra Roxana Hernández? Yes, teacher. Ok. Um, how do you like to be called? Mayra is good. Mayra. Ok. All right. Yeah. Mayra. Excellent. Ok. Thanks. Very good. Ok. Excellent, guys. So, um, welcome to today's class, everybody. Um, solo algunos recordatorios le voy a decir en español porque, uh, pues, eso, esto lo hicimos en español el día de ayer. Entonces, voy a hacer también el recordatorio en español. Um, recordarles de que uh, algunos de los lineamientos de Insafort es de que ustedes um, estén um, en clase un 100% de la clase. Eh, si es posible, ¿verdad? Lo, es lo ideal que ustedes siempre estén acá. Y en su defecto, pues lo mucho, 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 mucho que ustedes pueden faltar es um, un 20%, ¿verdad? O sea, tienen que tener un mínimo un 80%. Son los requisitos que tiene Insafor para poder eh, pasar para el próximo nivel. Um, entonces, usted necesita cumplir uno con ese con ese eh, requisito, ¿verdad?, de, de la asistencia. Así es que tenga cuidado, por favor, um, de no pasarse de ese, de ese tiempo. Y lo mejor para poder um, asegurarse que uno no se pase es estando en clase temprano a las 8, ¿verdad? Y pues ingresando hasta, el, uh, saliendo hasta finalizar la clase, ¿verdad? Eso es lo ideal. Y eh, pues para eso lo, lo, lo mejor. Y si por X motivo, pues um, tiene que faltar a clase, asegúrese que es por una emergencia, ¿verdad? No solamente porque, ay, que no tenía muchas ganas de conectarme y todo, ¿verdad? Porque después es que ya se van acumulando el tiempo y dicen, ¡Ah, teacher, yo no sé qué hacer porque mire, no me da el tiempo. Entonces ahí eh, sí ya. Es bien difícil, ¿verdad? Ya no podemos ayudarle mucho, ¿verdad? Cuando ya han faltado bastante. Así que acordarles de eso. También acordarles de que su nombre completo debe de aparecer en el, um, eh, en el Zoom, ¿verdad? Entonces, la única persona aquí que, que no le aparece el nombre completo o que no le debería de aparecer el nombre completo soy yo, porque a, a mí solamente me pone inglés corporativo. Pero de allí todos tienen que tener su nombre completo. Eso va con primer nombre, segundo nombre, se tienen, y el apellido, y uh, segundo apellido, se lo tienen, y o, o nombre de casada, ¿verdad? Sí. Eh, Sí, así es como le aparece en el DUI. Entonces, eh, de lo contrario, todos deberían de tener su nombre exactamente como eh, está en el DUI, ¿verdad? Entonces, um, si usted um, no lo tiene de esa forma, porque usted puede, usted puede visualizar cómo aparece su nombre, ¿verdad? En el cuadrito. Entonces, si no le aparece así, por favor, cámbielo. Lo puede cambiar uh, cuando usted aprieta esos tres tres um, puntos que están ahí sobre su imagen. Si usted pone el cursor sobre su imagen, le va a aparecer eh, tres puntitos y entonces ahí usted le hace clic izquierdo um, y eh, le abre una pestaña y le aparece ya sea en español, es um, re renombrar 
Y el, en inglés es rename, ¿verdad? Entonces, como lo, le aparece a usted, ¿verdad? Y ahí ustedes pueden cambiar su nombre. Eh, esto, de hecho, para, para no tener que estar haciéndolo a cada rato, es cuando usted cabal ingresa a la clase, allí le van a pedir el nombre. ¿Ok? Ahí entonces, ahí es donde usted tiene que asegurarse que vaya su nombre completo. ¿Verdad? Para que no esté ahí teniendo que cada rato cambiarlo. Y uh, también acordarles que otro requisito de Instaform es que las cámaras estén encendidas en todo momento, ¿verdad? Eso incluye momentos en que usted no tiene participación activa, ¿verdad? Como en este momento, pero sí Instaform pide que su nombre, su nombre y su, y su, um, y su imagen aparezcan para que podamos identificarlos. Porque acuérdense que eh, ellos quieren saber si en realidad usted está recibiendo la clase. Porque si solo ponemos una fotito, bueno, no, no sabes si está ahí, ¿verdad? O, está, o solo prende la cámara y se puede a otro lugar. ¿verdad? Entonces yo pues sé que están ahí, pero Insaforp tiene que hacer la auditoría. Entonces por eso es de que eh, se les pide que todos ah, enciendan sus cámaras, que nos nos colaboren ahí con eso, que no es algo, no es algo nuestro, sino que en Zafor nos pide así, ¿verdad? Que nosotros se los pidamos a ustedes. Y también acordarles que en la plataforma tienen que completarlo un 80%, um, así de que lo mejor es ir día a día con la plataforma para que no tengan que estar ahí a, a última hora corriendo. Y de hecho, no tarda mucho tiempo, lo, no, yo digo que las plataformas, lo mucho, mucho, mucho que tarda es como, o sea, si es demasiado, como 10 minutos un ejercicio. O sea, eso es como exagerando. Porque normalmente yo digo que lo pueden hacer en como 5 minutos o tal vez hasta menos en algunos casos. Pero así exagerando, yo digo que unos 10 minutos por, por, um, por tarea. Así que no es nada. Y quiero ver qué otra cosa, qué otra cosa um, piden support. Ah, bueno, al finalizar el módulo, que ustedes ya están familiarizados con este proceso, ¿verdad? Que hacemos una actividad al final para eh, de evaluación. Y eso también es un requisito, ¿verdad? Que todos tenemos que hacer el último día de clase, ¿verdad? Entonces, son los requisitos de Insafor para poder pasar al próximo nivel. ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta? ¿Quiere hacer? No, no, teacher. Ok. Nadie, nadie quiere hacer alguna pregunta. Ok, ok. Eh, todavía veo algunas cámaras apagadas, entonces solamente nuevamente les, les recuerdo que si me hacen este favor, sería excelente. Um, Mayra, ¿tiene usted alguna pregunta? Um, the question no, uh -huh. but in, in my case, teacher, I can't turn on camera um, the majority class because um, the majority days I, I stay in my work or I go to my, my house because I, I go out late and then I, I can I can hear, but I don't can I, I can cannot turn on camera. Um, but the only thing is that it, it is a requirement from from Insaforp. Um, you know, it's it's something that they they um, have asked, and yeah. I, I can't give any. Yeah, I I understand, but. Uh, uh, I, I think that when I, I stay in my house, I, I can turn on my camera. Uh -huh. but when I, I stay in my work, I cannot. Okay. Um, but you, okay, right now you're at your workplace? Um, in this moment, I go to my house. Oh, you are you like in the car or something? Yeah, okay, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So when you arrive home, then you're gonna turn on the camera? Yeah. Ah, okay. Okay. 
Yeah, um, like I said, unfortunately, these these are requirements from INSAFORP that I don't I, I don't have any say on it. Like as a teacher, I own, the only thing I have I can do is tell you this is what INSAFORP wants. Yeah, um, I know. I can't, uh, and that goes for everything. That it, it's not just with the camera, but also like with permissions. Like you know, I can't say, oh, don't worry about it. You know, just. Uh, you know, if, you don't, if you're feeling bad, don't worry, you don't have to connect. I can't say that. I don't have the authority to say that. So unfortunately, you know, that, yeah, that's, I'm, I'm, my hands are tied. Yeah, but um, yeah, the, thank you for letting me know that special situation. I will, um, I will ask about it. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, other questions? Preguntitas? No? Sé que algunos no estuvieron aquí el día de ayer, entonces por eso pregunto. Eh, si hay alguien que quiera hacer alguna pregunta, consulta. No? Ok, bueno. Ok, so what we're going to do right now, um, we're going to start with the class. Uh, we're going, it's a continuation of what we saw yesterday. So I'm going to share my screen. Please tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. Yes, you can see my PowerPoint? Yes. Okay, good. All right. Um, so, um, okay, so we have here, um, well, this is a little bit about me. We were practicing the conversation yesterday, right? Remember the conversation between Luigi and Carla, okay? And we saw yesterday that here we have um, certain vocabulary that we saw from the conversation. So for example, here we said cheese is, is what? Better than Better cheese. Than. Exactly, very good. Is funny. Than, right? Oh, hold on. So, and I was telling you yesterday that uh, that here we're comparing cheese and pepperoni, and better means more good. So you're saying that cheese is more good than pepperoni. That's what you're saying. But we don't say more good. We say better. Okay. Just like when in Spanish, I was saying like. In Spanish, you never say más mejor. You say, o, 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 o más, eh, you would say mejor, right? So the same thing, you don't, you don't say more good, you say better, okay? And then here, we saw that the restaurant next door is? Bigger than. Bigger than. Than. Okay, bigger than. Okay, so the restaurant next door is bigger than our pizzeria. Okay, and what you're saying is um, it's more big. Okay, so the restaurant is more big than our pizzeria. But you cannot say more big, you say bigger than. That's when we are comparing. And then over here, we saw that yes, we saw yesterday that they have more beautiful, more beautiful, more beautiful decoration than displays. Exactly, more beautiful decoration than displays. Okay, so what you're saying is that uh, you're comparing the decorations of this place with the decorations of the other of 
the the restaurant next door and you're saying that the decorations are more beautiful in that place okay so what what we saw yesterday is that um that we are comparing two things here we're comparing cheese and pepperoni here the restaurant next door and our pizzeria here the decorations of the restaurant next door and here the decorations of the pizzeria that's we're always going to be comparing two things so that's what we saw yesterday and we also saw yesterday uh this vocabulary what what did we say was um you call a restaurant order food and take it to your home what is the the mean what is the word for that take out take out very good so that's number four right okay so uh, take out means let's say just give me a moment Okay, so takeout is um, this one right here. You call a restaurant, order food, and then take it to your home. So you don't eat at the restaurant, you eat at your home, but you go to the restaurant to order the food, okay? And then we have to make a, a reservation at a, at a restaurant is? Book a table. Book a table, right? Okay, so um, the word book can be um, a noun like libro, or it can be um, a verb, which means reserve. Okay, then we have a packet meal that can easily, oh, that you can eat away from the restaurant. A packaged meal that you can eat away from the restaurant. What is that? Delivery. 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 Mm, exactly. Okay. Then we have uh, different dishes placed in a public area when where people serve themselves. Buffet. Buffet. Very good. Remember, we talked about the pronunciation of this word. We do not say buffet. Okay. It's not buffet, and the reason is because this is um, a French word. So we do not pronounce it buffet, we pronounce it buffet, okay? We say fey, buffet. It's the same with like, for example, words like bouquet, bouquet. You don't say bouquet, you say bouquet, right? You know this word? Yeah, do you know this word? Yeah? Special. Yeah, uh, yeah. So this is like um, this. This word right here is uh, like in Spanish. It's very similar, right? But we don't say bouquet. You say bouquet. Okay. And then finally, a dish that is extremely good in a particular restaurant. Specialty. Specialty. Specialty, very good. That is specialty. Okay, a uh, dish that is extremely good in a particular restaurant. Okay. All right, any questions? Okay. All right, so that's what we saw yesterday, just uh, to catch up for everybody up in case, um, well, some people were not here yesterday, so that just wanted to make sure that we all were on the same page, okay? Now, we're going to now look into more detail about, um, uh, about how to make the comparison, how to compare words okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna move on here okay okay all right so this is um comparative adjectives okay um okay so this says 
use the comparative form of adjectives to compare two people, two things, or two animals. Delivery service is better than takeout. That's an example, okay? Uh, now, just I just want to make sure that everything. Um, I want to make sure that uh, that you understand this is only for two. Okay, if you are going to compare more, this is not the the correct um, use. Okay, this is only when you're going to compare two two people, two things, or two animals. Okay, but that's it. No more. Only two. Okay. So um, I need a volunteer to help me read this rule. Who can help me read this rule? Uh, teacher, do you need one volunteer for read? Yes, please. Would you okay. do the favor, Sonaida? Yes. Okay. Uh, it's here when the adjective has one or two is here yes exactly yes right there okay okay when the adjective has one or two um Syllable. syllables syllables say syllables 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 ah okay syllables make the comparative by add adding air to the ear e er e er to end of the adjective then use done after the adjective thank you very much Sonita. excellent thank you for helping me read that excellent very very good job okay exactly so what we have to do is we always have to count the syllables the syllables of each adjective, okay? So uh, just the regular adjectives, no change in the adjective. For example, think of the adjective uh, tall. How many syllables? One. One, exactly, very good. Um, let's think about, um, uh, let's see, um, short. How many syllables? Short? One. One, exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, uh, let's see. Um, big. Big? Okay, um, sure. How many syllables is big? It's one. Mm -hmm. Only one, right? Okay. Or when we say, for example, um, let's see, uh, easy. Easy. How many syllables is easy? It's two. Two. Good. Exactly. All right. So when what happens there is we're going to be adding er to the end of the adjective to make it a comparative, okay? And after that, we add the word then. Sorry, e, sorry, ER, yeah, we're gonna be add in the word ER, and then uh, after the ER, we put then, okay? An example of this would be the buffet restaurant on the corner is cheaper than the one on Main Street. So here we are comparing two things. What are the things that we are comparing? We're comparing the buffet restaurant on the corner and the one on Main Street. Okay, those are the two things we're comparing. And what we're saying is that this one is cheaper or more cheap, right? But we just say, because cheap is one syllable, we put cheap and then we add the ER. Okay? ER and always then. Okay. Sounds good? It's okay. Yeah. Okay, good. The same thing here. Um, the waiters at the French 
uh, the French toast are faster than the waiters at the Vong Cafe. So here we're comparing. Um, the waiters at the French toast and the waiters at the Vaughn Cafe. Okay, so those are the two things that we're comparing. And we, I understand that waiters is plural, but because we're talking specifically about wait, we're, we're not talking about waiters in general, we're talking about waiters at the French toast. So that's, that's a group of people, okay? Does that make sense? So I, like I said, I know we're talking about many people in general here, right? And I just said that we're comparing two, but in this case, we're com it's like a group. It's not really, we're not looking at the individuals. We're looking them, at them as a, a group. So the group of the French, uh, at the, of the waiters at the French toast and the group of the waiters at the Vaughn Cafe, okay? And then we take the word um, if fast, and fast only has one syllable, okay? So we say faster than. So we take the we take the the fast, and then we put er, okay? And then we put than, okay? So far, so good. Yes? Yes. Okay, good. Now, also this, uh, now it's also applicable for uh, adjectives that are more than okay. one syllables. Can somebody help me read this right here? You can help me read. Thank you, sir. Okay, great. Go for it, Harrison. When the adjective has more than two syllables, use more before the adjective and then after it. Thank you. Okay, so when it has more than two syllables, that's where, again, we're still comparing two people, two things, or two animals. Uh, but here we're talking about two syllables. Think about, for example, the word beautiful. How many syllables is beautiful? Three. Three. Bu, right? Bu, t, full. Three. Good. Uh, what about um, uh, responsible? How many syllables? Four. Four. Good. Responsible. Responsible. Okay, so four. Good. What about um, popular? Three. Three. Three, right? Popular. Good. Uh, what about interesting? Interesting. Three. 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 So it's interesting. Do not say interesting. No, it's not interesting. It's interesting. Okay, so I know that it looks like it's four, but it's not, it's only three. So with, what happens there with this one is that we have to use the word more and I always the word than. Okay. So instead of adding an ER or some di something different to the adjective, we leave the adjective alone and we just add the word more before the adjective. So it ends up like this. Old restaurants are more beautiful than new restaurants. Okay. Again, we are comparing two things, right? Um, old restaurants and new restaurants. Okay. Again, I know that there is more than one old restaurant and more than one new restaurant, but we're talking about re old restaurants as a group. Okay, and then here we have the word beautiful. Okay, we have the word beautiful. Um, okay, now beautiful, we said was three syllables, beautiful, right? So because it's more than two syllables, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be adding 
the word more at the beginning. So we don't we don't we don't touch the word beautiful. We just add the word more. Okay? And we also use the word then. So more beautiful than. No change to the adjective, just adding the word more. Okay? The same thing in the next one, spe specialty dishes are more expensive than the rest of the menu. Okay? Um, so here we are talking about specifically specialty dishes as a group and the rest of the menu as another group. And here we're using the word expensive. How many syllables is expensive? Caro. How many syllables? Four. No. How many syllables is expensive? Three. Three. Expensive. Right. Three syllables. So because it's three syllables, then uh, we're going to be adding the word more at the beginning. No change to the adjective, just the word than. Okay. Does that sound good? Yes. Yeah? Okay, good. Now, there are exceptions to this rule though, and I'm going to show them to you right now. Uh, the exceptions are, for example, I'm gonna write them right here. Words that are two syllables, but finish in Y. For example, easy. Pretty and ugly. Okay, so all of them are two syllables, but they finish in one. Okay. So easy, pretty, ugly. So what's going to happen with when you when you finish in a Y? We're going to be eliminating the Y. Okay, so we eliminate the Y, and instead, what we do is we add not just ER, we add I, ER. So it becomes easier or prettier or uglier, okay? That is when it's two syllables and it finishes in a Y. Is that clear for everybody? I am pregunta. Teacher, can you repeat this? Yeah, please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. Okay, so what happens is, oops. Okay, so what happens is that we have um, the adjectives here, uh, like easy, that finish, there are two syllables, then they all finish in Y. Right? So we have easy, easy two syllables, easy, pretty, ugly, right? Two syllables. And they finish in the letter Y. <clears throat> what we do is we eliminate the word Y and we replace it with the word I. So, oh, sorry, with the letter I. So if you want to, look at it in another way, it's like this. Sorry. Okay. I, we have, we always put an I. So the Y changes to an I. Veanlo así. Le cambiamos la, o sea, le, re, le reemplazamos la Y por la I. Teacher, eh, only three words are the except. No, 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 I'm just giving you as examples. 
Okay, okay. these are just examples. Okay, all right. And then after, after the point you put the I, then we're gonna put ER. So this is gonna become easier, right? Prettier and uglier. Okay. Is that clear now? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so that's the ex like these are like exceptions, let's say. Or like, yeah, they're like exceptions. Okay. All right. So that's one one rule. Another rule that we have here that we have not included here, but I want you to know is when we have um, a word I like to call like it's this is not the 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 this is not um, the proper official name, but I like to call it the rule of the one one one. That's that's the way I refer to it, the rule of the one one one. Okay, la regla del uno uno uno. Eh, why? Why do I call it one one one? Because the reason why I call it one 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 is because the one, the first one represents the first, it's just one syllable, okay? That's what it represents. The first one represents one syllable, okay? The second one refers to one, one it finishes in one vowel, one vowel, una vocal. And the last one refers to, it finishes in one consonant, okay? And I'm gonna write some examples here. These are only examples. This is not the only list. These are just examples. We have words like big, um, thin, and fat, let's say, okay? So if you notice, uh, actually, quiero ver, dime un momentito. Um, mm, no, vamos a cambiar esto. Hot. Okay. And I did it on purpose because I want you to see that they are different vowels. Okay. So if, if you notice, all of them have this, this, um, they, they all have uh, the same that are one syllable, right? Big, hot, fat, only one syllable, right? See? And so, yes. Okay, so that's it. Big, hot, fat, that's it, one syllable. So, ahí ya llega, ya llena el primer requisito. The second one is, the second one he refers to the vowel. It finishes in one vowel. Like here, it finishes in an I. Here, it finishes in an O. Here it finishes in a in the letter A. Okay. Okay. All right. Then well, and then it finishes in one vowel. Here it's a G, here it's a T, and here's another T. Okay. So what happens is when we see this, we are going to not eliminate the G like we did here, that we eliminated the Y. Instead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna double. So, aquí eliminamos, aquí lo, lo hacemos lo opuesto, le, le duplicamos, okay? So here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put like, for example, a double G. So it's not just gonna be one G, it's gonna be double G. Here, we double the, the T. So it's not gonna be just one T, it's gonna be double T. The same thing here because the last consonant is T. Okay. And then at the end, 
we put the ER. Okay, so we have bigger, hotter, fatter. Okay. Does that make sense? It's clear. Yeah. Okay. Díganme si hay algo que no está claro acá, porque hoy es el momento de preguntar que cuando estamos explicándolo todos juntitos. Okay. All right. Good. Then, sure. Yes. Mm -hmm. Perdón, eh, según lo que yo le he entendido ahorita, eh, cuando tenemos una sílaba solo vamos a agregar después del adjetivo eh, tan, cuando son de dos sílabas, eh, de dos o más sílabas en adelante, vamos a usar el more antes del adjetivo y luego tan, ¿es correcto? Ajá. Sí, es correcto. Sí. Okay. Exacto. Entonces, es... Oye, que... Que es que así, así he, he tratado de hacer la tarea, pero no me la agarra la plataforma. Ya, ya veremos eso. No, no se preocupen. Mm -hmm. right. Entonces, uh, Thank you. remember, remember you have to add ER if it's one or two syllables and more if it's three or more syllables. Okay? But, and there is one more exception. And these ones don't have a rule because this is like literally the exception to the rule. Those are the, the irregular adjectives. Irregular adjectives are words like, basically um, regular adjectives. We have good, okay? Good is not, So we are good, we cannot say gooder, okay? The same with bad, we can't say ba um, badder, okay? Um, far, okay? More, less, more and less. Okay. So those are exceptions, right? So um, good, the, the comparative of good is um, best, Oh, no, sorry, sorry, better. Sorry, my voice put on. Better, the comparative of bad is worse. The comparative of far can either be, there are two. It could be farther or further. Okay. The comparative of more is keeps on being more. Comparative. Of less. Is also less. Okay. Got it? Yeah. So these are the these are like the exceptions. So um these are irregular. So you know with irregular um really there's nothing um that there's no rule that then I can say oh do this to that. It's just that's just how it is. Okay? Okay, now examples of this, we have said my, my house is larger than hers. Okay, large. Oh, sorry, there is one more, one more rule that I forgot to mention, but I don't think you need to 
um, worry too much about this. These are when, when the adjectives finish in E, like in this one, large. Large finishes in E, so we're not gonna add ER because then it would have a double E. So we just add the word, just the, just the letter R. So we have, my house is larger than hers, okay? So notice, large, oops. It's only uh, the letter R. Exactly, you just add the word, the letter, um, R in this one. Okay, just letter R because it finishes in an E. Okay. Um, in this one, it's small, fast, higher. And in this case, all we have to do is adding the word, the letters ER, okay, to make it comparative. So larger, smaller, faster, higher. And don't forget that we need to have the word then, okay? If it doesn't have the word then, then it's incomplete, okay? So larger than, smaller than, faster than, higher than, okay? So my house is larger than hers. This box is smaller than the one I lost. Your dog runs faster than Jim's dog. The rock flew higher than the roof. Okay. And then over here, we have um, adjectives that are more than one syllable. I'm sorry, more than two syllables. It's actually three syllables. Um, so adjectives like polite, okay, polite, two syllables. Uh, beautiful, beautiful, three syllables. Difficult, right? Difficult, three syllables, right? And in that case, all we're gonna do is make sure that we're adding the word more. Oops. More polite, more beautiful, more difficult. And always remember that it's then, then, and then. Okay. So we have my house, is, sorry, uh, sorry. Uh, you are more polite than Joey. A rose is more beautiful than every daisy. Learning Japanese is more difficult than learning Italian. Jim and Jack are both my friends, but I like Jack better. In this case, you don't have to use the word be, uh, then, okay, because we understand that it's better than Jim, okay, because we already mentioned Jim and Jack. Okay, so ahí es como se sobreentiende, right? And then this, in this case, um, here, we are using um, the, the exception, right? Remember, the exception of good is not gooder, it's, it's uh, better, okay? This sweater is less expensive than that one. I ran farther, uh, I, I ran pretty far yesterday, but even, but I ran even farther today, okay? Any questions? No. Okay. All right. Okay. So after that theory, it's time for us to practice um, in pairs. But because it's exactly nine o'clock right now, I'm going to take attendance again. Okay. So please tell me if you're present. Acuérdense, necesitamos cámaras encendidas. Que hágame el favorcito ahí. Alejandra, Vanessa. First in the chair. Good. Um, Cristina or Cristi. Ah, oh, no, no, no. It was Cristina, ¿verdad? Me dijo. 
tienes que... ¿Verdad que sí? Me dijo... La Cristina. La otra chica le dijo Cristi. Ah, ok, ok. Entonces usted le usa Cristina. Ok, va, Cristina. ¿Está la uh, diferencia? Perfecto, ok. Um, y tenía también Ani, ¿verdad? Present teachers, yes. Okay, very good. Y Mari. Present. Ok, good. Excellent. Um, eh, Caroline. Caroline. Present teacher. Okay, good. Christy. Present teacher. All right, very good. Gerson. Present. Okay, thank you. Karina. Present. Okay, very good. Uh, Linda. Present teacher. Okay, good. Uh, Julia. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Casi no la vemos. Está, está... Estoy cenando, teacher, por eso. ¿Cómo? Estoy cenando. Ah, ok, ok, ya entendí. <ríe> ok. Sí, so de, que, de que se mira solo como una silueta. <ríe> okay. um, Nicole. Present. All right, good. Mayra. Present, teacher. Good. Uh, Miguel. Miguel. No, Miguel. No, Miguel. A ver, no, Miguel. Se salió. Ok. Uh, Nelson. Present. Ok, good. Norma. Norma. Present teacher. Present. Okay, good. Olga. Present teacher. Ok, good. Um, Rafa. Present teacher. Ok, good. Um, Seneida. Present teacher. Ok, good. Um, Suleima Rodriguez. Present teacher. Good. Um, Stephanie. Stephanie. Ok. Nancy. Present teacher. Ok, good. Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos. Ok. Karen. Karen Insenia. Ok. Uh, Suleima Melgar. Present teacher. Good. Um, Vanessa. Present. Ok, good. Uh, and uh, Wilber Alexis. Ok, very good. Oh, ¿está? Uh -huh. Yes, Miss. Okay. Uh, do you prefer to be called Wilbur or Alexis or what? Uh, Wilbur. Wilbur, okay, very good. Uh, Wilbur, um, no sé si estaba aquí al principio de la clase cuando mencioné acerca de, lo, de los nombres. Mm, no, no. No. Ah, ok. Va, es que dice que Inseform nos pide que los nombres aparezcan completos. O sea que um, tiene que ir su primer nombre, segundo nombre, si, eh, bueno, sí, sí tiene, ¿verdad? Segundo nombre eh, y los dos apellidos, así como aparece en el Dewey. Entonces tiene que renombrar ahí su dispositivo. No sé si ya sabe cómo hacerlo. Ah, ok, sí, porque puse solo un nombre y un apellido. Ajá, cabal. Y eso también va para algunos otros también que estoy viendo igual que, no sé si me escucharon al principio, pero si eso es su caso, me hace también el favor sazo de cambiar ahí el nombre completo. Ok. Ok, very good. Eh, bueno, entonces, ah, ah, y también otra cosita se me había escapado. Eh, también otra cosa de la que hablamos el día de ayer, que um, si en el caso de, eh, si el caso suyo es de que se encuentra en este momento como en calidad de oyente, entonces debe de poner en paréntesis uh, la palabra oyente después de su nombre. Entonces, um, por ejemplo, si yo soy, soy oyente, me voy a poner Jessica Lizette Guerrero y después 
en paréntesis, oyente. ¿Ok? Así vamos a hacerlo. Ok, muy bien. So, what we're going to do. Um, ok, thank you, Miguel. Got you. <laughs> ya vi que está presente. Ok, so what we're going to do is um, I'm going to be sharing. Okay. So we're going to do this exercise here. Okay. So we have delivery is more convenient than takeout. And then we have the other exercises. There are five more exercises. So this is the example here, right? Delivery is more convenient than, more convenient than, right? So convenient, three syllables, right? Con, be, sorry, four syllables. Convenient. Right, four syllables. So because it's more, it's uh, four syllables, then we're going to be using the word more and the word then at the end. Right, okay. So I want you to complete with your partner over here, these five exercises, okay? Are we clear what we're gonna be doing? Yes? Okay, all right. Um, okay, so I'm going to put you to work in pairs. Um, por cierto, bye. Um, si acaso, ahorita lo que vamos a hacer, si acaso, le voy a poner otra vez para que le tomen captura de imagen, si acaso no tiene libro en este momento, solo por el momento vamos a tomar captura de imagen. Ya les voy a mandar. Ok. ¿Listos? Yes. All right. So I'm going to get you to work in breakout rooms. Ok. Um, los voy a poner todos. Ahí con una pareja, con una pareja. Ok. Um, and I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you about um, eight minutes. Okay. I think you can do it in eight minutes. Quizás en menos no van a hacer. Ok. Uh, uy, creo que se me desconectaron. Sí, se me desconectaron. Okay, all right, here we go. Let's open the rooms. Vaya, aquí ahorita le voy a, voy a enviarle la, la imagen para que la vea. ¿Ya la recibió? Sí. Ya. Vaya, entonces aquí vamos a hacerle la visita. Dice, the delivery is more convenient. That... Ah, lo que está en paréntesis lo tenemos que cambiar, ¿verdad? Algo así. A lo que es como cuando uh -huh. de tela. They are... del tema de la suma, Ajá. Shipper. Este sería shipper. Their barrages are cheaper than the one from Darbox. En el dos. 
Ese sería, sería shipyard. 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 Ajá. Fresh. Restaurant art. Dice. Ah, romantic. Es romantic. French restaurant art. Uh, more, more romantic that romantic uh -huh. more romantic uh -huh. fat food restaurant uh -huh. they buffet at mean less restaurant is more complete that Complete solo lleva dos, ¿verdad? Y eliminar. La vía durmiente era un álbum. Solo lleva dos sílabas en la pronunciación. Ajá. Sería more complete that. Así sería, ¿va? No. ¿Ah? Ah, ya tengo dudas. <risa> Ahí sí tengo dudas, yo, yo también. Porque al pronunciarlo, yo solo pronuncio dos sílabas. ¿Cómo fue ella que explicó eso? Porque yo medio le, le, le puse atención. Y en, de, y en el desalojo de los colombianos. Eh, de los y en este caso, terminaba en trueno, eh, una o dos sílabas agregar el, 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 el R y luego da pero complete ¿cuál es la pregunta chicas? en la cuatro ajá, ¿qué pasa? Eh, ¿verdad que ahí solo se le pone more, complete complete has two syllables ajá ajá yeah. uh -huh. uh -huh. yes, exactly, just You can put more complete. More complete that, ¿va? Mm -hmm. Yes. Ah, uh, okay. Y they are Pero al pronunciarlo, teacher, ¿son dos sílabas o tres sílabas? Eh, the majority of the two, it's the majority of the two syllables, but um, that you put ER, but there are exceptions. Okay. Mostly the two syllables is when you finish with a Y, like ugly, um, pretty, easy, um, uh, I don't know, I remember right now, but um, yeah, so it, it's usually with those two, with syllables that are like finishing Y, you put the ER, everything else put in um, more, okay? Okay. Ok. Faster. Uh -huh. Bueno, probemos con faster. Teacher. Hello. Hello. Uh, you are. Give me a permission for share the, ah. la pantalla. <ríe> no se puede. Se me había olvidado ese detallito. Pero vamos a ver si, si lo logro. Ok. Vamos a ver. No, no le prometo nada, pero déjeme ver. Qué chingoso. No, al parecer ahorita no puedo usar nada. Ah, oh, está bien. Sorry. Pero sí voy a, voy a, voy a escribir ahí un recordatorio porque si no se me olvida. Y hay... Sí, porque sí es más fácil para los otros compañeros. Uh -huh. Ok, thank you for reminding me. Any other questions? Sí. 
yes. Yes. Oh, okay. uh, the um in the sentence they or service is I don't know is fast faster or fast and faster faster first Thank faster you. than yes the the change the La, las reglas, the rules are only the, the change for the adjectives. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh. Oh. It's not important if the, the, the sentence is are one or two uh, words. Is a, a singular or, 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 or plural? Oh, um, well, if it's going to be plural, it's probably because it's a group of people. It's considered one group, right? Uh, okay. 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 Thank you. Yeah. Like, for example, I was saying, for example, we can say um, the students of module one. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're talking about a group of people, even though there are many students, but it's talking about one group of people. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, the six is the ambience in JB's kitchen is more appealing than for the store. Senaida. Hello. Okay. Um, okay, voy a investigar qué significa April. Appalling. Appalling. Dice el ambiente. 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 Tal vez es ambiente. And number five. Yeah. Number, number three is more is furniture restaurant are more down for more romantic than. La, number four. The buffet and mean list is Hello, Norma. Se salió. Sí, es que estaba con Cristina. Ajá. Y después que solo nos atrando y nos quedamos. Sí, está, se estaba viendo que con Cristina estaba. Chavarría, ajá. Cristina, hmm, qué raro. Ana Cristina Chavarría. Sí, bien raro. Pero ya terminó. Ah. 
Ah, espera un momentito. Aquí está, aquí viene ella. ¿Ya terminaron? Sí, ya terminamos. Ok, ok, very good. Vaya, entonces solo voy a dar chance para que repasen, asegurarse de forma que en cobar. Eh, okay. A ver qué pasó. A ver si salió otra vez. Ahí está. Una zona toda polvosa. Ah, ya nos hablan, ya nos hablan. Se le había olvidado a la tía. No, pero no nos habla. Pues sí me tocó feo cuando fui ahí. Sí. Ah, usted caminó la, la calle de la zona franca. Sí, toda, porque yo no tenía carro. Ah. Y, y me tocó bien feo ir ahí una vez. Ya hace bastante, quizás estamos hablando de más de 10 años. Ah, pues sí, ajá. Se vino mal porque se vino en bus. Tenía que haberse venido en microbuses, que son los que entran. Sí, ajá. ajá. O quizás, en micro, quizás en microbús, pero quizás me, me, antes, me bajé. Okay, um, so I'm guessing everybody's finished. Yes? Yes. Yes, teacher. Everybody's finished? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, very, very good. Um, Okay, just give me a moment. But uh, what we're gonna do is um, check the answers right now. Okay, all right, tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. Yes. Yeah, everybody can see my PowerPoint. Yes. Okay, good. All right. So let's check the answers. Um, oh. Okay. So we know the first one is more convenient than takeout. Okay. Um, all right. I'm actually going to choose different people randomly. Okay. So you can give me the answer. Um, okay. Let's have Linda. Linda, can you give me the first one? The first one. Yeah. Or the, the number two, better said. Ah, okay. Uh, wait a minute, wait. Uh, their beverage are cheaper than the ones from the from box. Good, okay, thank you. Cheaper than, I don't know, that's a good color. Okay, I think that's better, right? Se mira mejor. El color? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Good. Yes. Right. Excellent. Next. Oops. Okay. 
Number three. Um, let's see. Can I have Nelson help me, please? French restaurants are more romantic than fast food restaurants. Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh, then we'll have. Um, Suleyma Rodriguez, help me with number four, please. Um, solo que ahí tengo una duda, pero se, según como lo llenamos, sería de buffet, admin list, restaurant is more complete than chance. Very good. Ok, excelente. Solo que yo no estoy convencida porque no sé si no le comprendí bien. Uh -huh. En el caso, eh, las sílabas las vamos a sacar conforme a la pronunciación o conforme a la escritura. Porque si fuera conforme a la pronunciación, yo entiendo que complete solo lleva dos sílabas. Entonces, para mí allí hubiera sido eh, diferente la estructura, pero no sé si yo no le he comprendido bien. Yeah, the thing is that the majority of um, the majority of the two syllable adjectives are going to put with ER, but those are the adjectives that finish in Y. Okay, like, uh, like the ones I, I showed you before, pretty, ugly, um, easy, okay. So with those adjectives that finish in Y, you're going to put ER. But uh, there are exceptions like, um, uh, like that, for example, complete, complete, right? And then we say more complete, okay? Um, so many of the other adjectives that are two syllables but do not finish in Y, then you put just, um, you put more. Is that clear? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay, so only, only put ER if the, the syllables is two adjectives and finishes in a Y. Okay? Okay. okay. Let's go to the next one, number five. Miguel, please help us. Miguel? I'm problem connection teacher. Oh, okay. Can do can you hear me right now? Can you hear me right now? Okay. Yes. Yeah, I, um, I was seeing if maybe Miguel could hear me, but I guess he can. Okay, so then um, Alejandra, please help me out, out with the next one, Alejandra. Thank you, teacher. Their service is uh, more fast, uh, faster. That's the more fast, more fast, or more or faster. Which one? Air uh, faster, faster, okay, faster. Um. Dan. Dan. The restaurant we went to last week. Good. Okay. Their service is faster than the restaurant we went to last week. 
teacher, pero no falta algo ahí. Um, no, actually, that's, that's okay. No. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And the last one we'll have it. Rafael, Rafa, could you help us? The next one. Diane Bayans in Javis. Kitchen is more appealing than the food they sell. Good, appealing. Do you understand appealing? You understand that word appealing? Appealing down. Attractivo. Attractivo. Uh -huh. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, something that, that captures your attention. Go, mmm, I like that, yeah. So it's the ambience. Right, the ambience in Javi's kitchen is more appealing, more attractive than the food that they sell. So it's better the ambulance than the food. That's what they're saying. Okay. All right. Any questions? No. No? It's clear? It's clear, teacher. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do is now the next part. This exercise here. Oops. No. I'm going to do the speaking part now. It says brainstorm a list of other restaurant services you have experienced. So think about other restaurant services. So we, we talked about delivery, we've talked about takeout. What other services exist in restaurants? I want you to think, I'm gonna give you a few minutes, uh, maybe about two or three minutes to think about other services in restaurants, okay? Teacher, what is brainstorm? Brainstorm is, um, is hacer una lluvia de ideas. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. thank you. You're welcome.
Okay, you ready? Okay, what you're going to do now is um, you're going to talk about are they as popular as delivery or takeout? So the services that you you've listed right now, I want you to talk about talk to with your partner or what was better so with your group, uh, if they are as popular. So we're, we're comparing right but we're, we're going to be doing this comparing those services to the delivery and takeout. And you're going to talk about why you think so. Okay. Sounds good. Do we understand what we're going to be doing? Okay. Yeah. Todos, todos este, entendemos el, um, la actividad. Okay. Oh, hold on. We're going to get you to work in groups. I'm going to get you in breakout rooms with groups of three, I think. Three or four. Okay. And I'm going to give you, again, I'm going to give you about five um, to 10 minutes. Well, actually, yeah, about seven minutes. Let's give you. Okay. All right. So let's open the rooms. Ni modo. <risa> ok, entonces habría que hacer la actividad, ¿verdad? Sí. Eh, primero, bueno, no sé si es lo mismo que entendí, pero primero eh, verlo, hacer una lista, la lluvia de ideas de los productos, ¿verdad? De uh -huh. los servicios, ¿verdad? Eso era, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y después contestar la segunda pregunta, la que lanzó. Pero dice una lista de otros servicios de restaurantes. No entendí. Yo no sé exactamente a qué tipo de servicios se refiere, pero... Eh, creo yo que creo que... Es la experiencia que hemos tenido eh, con los servicios en cada restaurante y después lo vamos a comparar con los de los demás. Pero creo que es específico. Delivery o... Oh. Or take out. Es que dijo que eh, dijéramos las experiencias tanto en delivery, o sea, para mm -hmm. llevar eh, a domicilio o eh, tomar los alimentos en el restaurante. Ah, también el, el tomar los alimentos en el restaurante. Ah, yo pensé que solo delivery y el de para llevar. Ok, entonces estamos bien. Este China work. Take away. And, um, la pampa. La calaca. La calaca. Un montón. Maese. Dice que si ellos are popular, are they go? Are they as popular as delivery or take out? Mm -hmm. They, mm -hmm. they go es para llevar, vea, o para comer ahí. No, Mm, why do you think so? ¿Por qué piensas eso? Mm, yo creo que 
Para comer ahí, de verdad. Sí. Dice, son populares en deliver o para comer ahí. La mayoría son populares porque te venden para llevar. No, pero solo pone delivery or take out. Y delivery. Delivery is better than take out. Um, bueno, en mi caso yo prefiero comer en el lugar que en la casa. Porque bueno, así no se extraña de algo. Y vive la experiencia en sí de, del lugar. Del servicio del lugar. Uh -huh. Take out, luego Take out. Ok. ¿Y por qué pensamos eso? I think uh, because it's, it's better, better uh, like the experience, better experience uh, delivery effect in um, delivery. Se me ha ido como se dice eficiencia en el domicilio. Eficiencia. Home delivery. Eficiencia. Efficiency at home. Home at home. delivery. Efficiency at home. Um, más producto. Ah, pero eso va en more promociones. Promociones. Mm. Eh. ¿Cómo se dice? No, pero yo como casi no compro así. Bueno, porque aquí para empezar en Colonia no viene. <risa> no, no sí. compro así, no. Pero eso que hemos dicho, ah, creo que tenemos unas siete ideas, lluvia de ideas. Limpieza del, del restaurante. Sí, esa es una. Restaurant cleaning. Cleaning. Mm -hmm. Cleaning in the restaurant. También podría ser buena capacitación de, de empleados o, o algo así. Uh -huh. mm. Como este. Empleados bien capacitados, algo así. Personal. Mm. Personal capacitado uh -huh. o altamente capacitado. Well trained employees. Ah, eso. Training. Trained. Trained employees. Eso es importante.
dos nos faltan. Cristi, ¿qué piensa? Sí, apliquemos. Dijimos precios. Sí. ¿Cómo? Dijimos precios. Pusimos precios más accesibles. Eh, lo pusimos como. Como promoción. Y ya, Entonces, no, ya no has ido a carrera. Bien, voy el 20, voy para allá, para la playa de San Diego. Ahora, ahora que salí de mi trabajo andaba un, andaban gente corriendo de, de Gator. Ah, está. Hi, guys. Yeah. Are you finished? Yes. Finished. <laughs> okay. okay. Estaba escuchando de Gatorades y todo. Yes. The running, the runner. Rafa is runner. <laughs> oh, are you Rafa? Yes, really. Oh, really? Wow. That's He ran like like a 5 10 kilometers. <laughs> Thank you. you. You are you are a professional athlete? No, professional no. No. Oh, okay. Okay. But I you, like it. But you like running. Okay. Are you I on like a... it. They they won they won many como se dice carreras. I I saw the race. Race ajá de las cómo se llama lo que dan? Medallas. Los, medallas. los premios, premios, medallas. Oh, medals. Medals. Uh -huh. mm. I see. Oh, wow. that's great. Good for you, Rafa. So you are on a Thank team. Um, San Nicolás Grupo, the team. Oh, wow, that's impressive. Good for you. It's very Thank you, <laughs> Yeah, excellent. Okay. All right. Okay, we're going to return back to the main room, okay? Okay. 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 All right. Um, good. So did you have a chance to discuss with your partners uh, comparing the different services? Yes? Yes. yes. All right. Good. Yes, sir. Give me, um, give me three sentences. Um, Linda. <laughs> No sé la atención. Linda, can you give me one sentence comparing? Sorry, teacher, I can't hear you. I, I. Teacher, va problem, va problem. I can hear you. Sí, más compañero. Okay, hold on. Hmm. Hold on. Oui. Okay, so um, can you hear me right now? Linda, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Could you give me a sentence? Uh, for example, the Burger King restaurant uh, it's 
is better than than when this restaurant. Okay. Okay, very good. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Uh let's hear Kiro Ver, who haven't heard. Um Carolina. Uh, Carolina, I think it's having problems with her audio. Okay, uh, let's see, Karina. Uh, McDonald's is faster than than Pizza Hut. Okay, good, excellent. Very, very good. Okay. Um, excellent. And one more. Um, quiero ver. Miguel. The teacher, uh, oh, in the bad lyric, not very okay. Okay, I think he's having trouble with his internet. Okay, it's okay. All right, very good though. Thank you. Um, Harrison, do you want to give me one more? Yes, teacher. Uh... Use the Google application is more word that the delivery of several restaurants. Okay, excellent. Bravo. Very, very good, guys. Very, very good. Okay, so do you have any questions about um, the comparative? No? Okay. No, teacher. Ok, bye. Eh, les hago de su conocimiento lo siguiente. En la plataforma, el ejercicio que corresponde a esta actividad, lo único que usted tiene que hacer es escribir eh, la forma comparativa. No tiene que escribir toda la oración. Ok, so don't, don't, you don't have to write, for example, eh, Guillermo is taller than Luis. No, you don't have to write that. You just say, have to say taller than. Example. Okay? That's all you have to put. Just the comparative form. Taller than. Right? Or more beautiful than. Or easier than. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Okay? That's all you have to do. Así que es súper fácil. Eh, no tienen que escribir okay. mucho. It's going to take you like less than five minutes to do it. Okay. If you have problems with the, okay. the, the exercise, let me know. But you shouldn't have any problems if you write it like that. Okay. Any questions? Okay. Clear. All right. Perfect. But in that case, we're going to uh take attendance because it's almost 10 o'clock uh alejandra present teacher good thank you um Chris, christine christina good okay annie present teacher excellent marisol present good carolina carolyn Present, present, present. Christy. Present, teacher. Okay, good. Erton. Present. Excellent. Uh, Karina. Present. Wonderful. Linda. Present, teacher. Very good. Uh, Julia. Present. Good. Marlene. Oh, sorry, Nicole, Nicole. Nicole? 
Present. Good, excellent. Maida. Present. Good, Miguel. Present, present teacher. Thank you. Nelson. Present. Present. Thank you. Uh, Norma. Present teacher. Very good. Olga. Present teacher. Good. Rafa. Present teacher. Excellent. Uh, Zeneida. Present teacher. Very good. Uh, Suleyma Rodriguez. Present teacher. Good. Um, Stephanie. Stephanie. No, okay. Uh, Yancy. Yancy Beth. Nancy. Sí, Nancy. Okay, good. Juan Carlos. Karen. Suleima Melgar. Present teacher. Good. Car uh, Vanessa. Present. Very good. And uh, Wilber, Alexis. Ok, va. Ok, chicos, entonces hasta llegamos. Eh, el día de hoy le tocaría a, a Cristina, ¿verdad? Es el, la sesión de uno a uno. Y mañana, para solo para que se prepare, sería um, Ani. ¿Verdad? Entonces, eh, y el... Y sería el viernes, sería eh, Mari. Ok. Bueno, that will be all for today, guys. I will see you tomorrow. Remember, please connect at 8 o'clock, ok? Sharp, so that we can have 120 minutes, ok? All right, so take care, guys. See you tomorrow. See you, see you tomorrow. Good night. Uh, qué alegre estamos. <laughs> Hello, Christian. Hello, how are you, Cristina? ¿Qué tal? Fine. Fine? <laughs> Just fine. <laughs> okay. Okay, excellent. Eh, Cristina, ¿en qué le puedo ayudar? Cuénteme. Tengo un poquito para preguntar, me tocó muy, muy cerquita. ¿Cerquita de él? Desde todo el curso, porque empezamos, no tengo tantas preguntas. Ah, sí, yo entiendo eso, eso es cierto. <risa> Pero acuérdese que, um, acuérdese que siempre hay cosas del idioma que uno puede preguntar, ¿verdad? No. Me imagino que en sí de, de todo lo que usted ha aprendido debe tener alguna pregunta, algo que no le que no le quede. No, sí, sí tengo. Ok, muy bien. Tengo, tengo. En el, en la, tenía una pregunta con lo que explicó cuando decía que era uno por uno por uno. Ajá. Aquí me perdí. <risa> um, eso no es, ok, aclaremos una cosa, eso no es el nombre oficial, ok. Ustedes si, si, si lo voy a encontrar ahí en, en Google, no encontrar uno por uno por uno, ¿verdad? O sea, así que solamente para, para referencia, sino que es la manera como eh, yo lo enseño para que se les haga más fácil a ustedes. Porque el okay. primer uno se refiere al sil a la sílaba. Sí, entonces, sí, hay solo una sílaba, ¿verdad? Como tall, um, big, short, um, eh, fat, etcétera, etcétera. Entonces, esa es la primera. ¿okay? Tiene, el primer requisito que tiene que llenar es que sea de una sílaba. ¿okay? El segundo uno se refiere a que termina en una vocal. Solo una vocal. Si terminan dos vocales, no aplica la regla. ¿Ok? Tiene que ser solo una vocal. Puede ser cualquier vocal. A, E, I, O, U. Pero tiene que ser una vocal. Una sola que, 
que va, la, digamos, la penúltima, ¿verdad? Entonces termina en una o tal. Y el tercer uno se refiere a la consonante, que termina en un solo, a una sola letra de consonante. Entonces, va a terminar en una vocal y una consonante. ¿Ok? Por eso es de que, por ejemplo, palabras como tall no aplican. Porque tall termina en una vocal, pero con dos consonantes. ¿Verdad? Un ejemplo de la que sí, sí entra en esta regla. Eh, tería, por ejemplo, palabras como fat, big. Thin. Um, um, sí, más que todo. Okay. ok, entonces en ese caso, ¿por qué? porque fat es una sílaba, ¿verdad? Una sola sílaba y termina en una sola vocal que es la A y la, ah, y la, la consonante. Una sola consonante que es la T. Okay. Ok, thin, también thin es otro. Thin, una, una sola sílaba y termina en una vocal que es la I y una consonante que es la N. En tal caso lo que vamos a hacer okay. es que vamos a duplicar la consonante. ¿Verdad? Entonces si termina, si la consonante es la T, vamos a duplicar la T. Si la consonante es la N, vamos a completar. ¿Cómo? Le agrego la T más E, L. Ajá, la, la, la doble consonante y después le vamos a agregar E, R. Uh -huh. Ok. Y ya tengo otra pregunta de, lo de, de, de la tarea. Ok. Uh -huh. en, hemos estado viendo que si tenía tres, o más, tres, tres consonantes o más, le agregábamos more, el adjetivo, más dam. Correcto. Pero veo que en, el, en, en lo que está ahorita en, en, el, en el módulo, en, el, en la plataforma, eh, yo le pongo eso, pero more, y me sale mala. Sí, ahorita. Por ejemplo, con beautiful. Estoy revisando, tiene toda la razón. No, no le han puesto en algunas de dam. Eh, voy a... Voy a hacer también nota de eso para, si quiere, uh, me espere un momento para hacer esa tarea porque el, lo voy a reportar y que lo, y que lo arreglen y después que ustedes puedan hacerlo. Ok. Yo dije quizás no te diría la regla, dije. <risa> no, no, es, 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 es una plataforma. Ok. Por eso es que dijo también la señora que no le salía, quizás. Uh -huh. Sí, puede ser. Sí, voy a Ok. Sí, de esta forma ya lo, lo voy a pon, consultar ahí porque sí estoy viendo que la mayoría sí, pero hay dos respuestas que no le dan con el DAN. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Eso sí. okay. Gracias ahí por, por decirnos ese detallito. Uh -huh. okay. ok. ¿Qué otra cosa? ¿Qué otra cosa uh -huh. puedo ayudar? Okay. ¿Alguna otra pregunta que tenga en sí como en cuanto al idioma? De la entrada yo me cuesta bastante hablarlo. <ríe> o a veces como entender que voy captando un poquito más que los módulos anteriores. Pero creo que hasta el momento de entender. Ok, ok. Eh, ¿Qué ¿Qué cree usted que podría hacer para practicar más al, al hablarlo? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo cree usted que le podría funcionar mejor? 
eh, pues practicando. <risa> Ajá, pero ¿cómo? ¿Con quién? ¿Cuándo? Eh, bien difícil, pero yo me metí en una plataforma de Tugolino, no sé, Tugolingo, uh -huh. y pues ahí he estado como practicando un poquito más y como le pide que aún no hable, okay. eh, trato de hacerlo, y ahí también me dice si está bien o está mal, qué palabra me hace falta que pronuncie mejor. Oh, Entonces okay. siento que me ha ido ayudando un poquito para entender, porque sí, oh. me estaba acusando bastante. Ok, ok, muy bien. Uh, ¿Qué hay de, por ejemplo, tendrá usted compañeros de trabajo con quien se podría eh, poner a, ahí a platicar? Eh, está difícil porque trabajo desde casa, no veo a nadie. Okay. ¿Qué hay de familiares? No tiene ningún no, familiar. Nadie. ¿Y en Estados Unidos tiene no. familiares? No, no habla mucho con ella. Ah, pero se tiene, ¿verdad? Es que eh, le digo porque yo creo que no conozco ni un salvadoreño que no tenga familiares en Estados Unidos. No nos no comunicamos con ellos. Ok, bueno, tal vez es un una buen momento para empezar a estrechar esos lazos. <risa> Está bien. Va. O, ¿por qué no conseguir amistades, por ejemplo, eh, no sé, por Facebook? Que hablen inglés. Se puede, se puede no, agregar a, a grupos en Facebook. Para, para aprender eh, inglés y hay personas de diferentes partes del mundo ahí que con quien podría practicar okay, vamos a buscar otra porque sí eso sí me cuesta un poquito a veces como comprender toda la oración a veces entiendo como partes y yo voy haciendo la, la unión de lo que están tratando de decir porque sí sí eso sí me cuesta sí sí pero entre más usted lo vaya practicando, más fácil se le va a hacer, pero tiene que practicarlo. ¿vale? Y, no, y practicarlo no solamente estamos hablando de, eh, de escucharlo, sino que también hay que hablarlo. ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, puede ser, por ejemplo, um, con un amigo un, o un vecino, puede, por WhatsApp pueden mandarse audios. ¿Verdad? De esa forma podría ser. Ok, gracias por su sugerencia. Ok. <risa> bueno, ¿alguna otra cosa que, un, que, con la que yo le pueda ayudar? Mm, por el momento no. no. Ok. Bueno, entonces uh -huh. en este caso nos veríamos mañana, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok. All right, great. Thank you. A pleasure uh, meeting you, Cristina, and um, see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night.